Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is the consumer unit up here on top for my house and here's the meter and main fuse and stuff like that. So let's have a look and see if we can make sense of it. The main electricity comes in through this big lead armoured cable into this 100 amp fuse here. Then it comes out the top and goes into the meter over here. It comes out of the meter, black and red here and goes down to here into this big switch and I've removed the cover off that it comes out of that switch and goes around the bottom into this black box which is just a connector to split it into these tails which go up to the consumer unit and this black cable which goes to a second consumer unit the big plug here is just an outlet from the consumer unit uh, 40 amp or 30 32 amp yeah 32 amp plug a single phase uh, this is a thing that I don't use anymore it's redundant basically it's a sender for current to a, not a smart meter but an energy monitor thing and that's the earth there so what I want to do is to fit this meter up here uh, to check if there's any energy going from my solar panels back into the system so what I'm gonna do is put it directly in series after this meter Actually, not after the meter, after the switch, but in theory, it'll be after the meter, so it'll be before the consumer unit. And to run it with the cables in the reverse direction. I can't interfere with this. This, the main electricity cable coming into the house, the main fuse, I'm not allowed to remove that. It's got a little seal on it. I can't touch the meter. It also has a seal on it. But everything beyond the meter is my problem so i've got an isolated an isolation switch here which can i can just flick and that cuts all the power off and what i hope is that i have enough stretch in these cables here these meter tails to go straight up onto the wrong side as it were of the meter up here and then just make a short set of tails to go in there that's the plan best laid plans eh okay so I'll cut some cables first and prepare it, and then I won't have the light off for too long. Yeah, that's that. So then... So I suppose now is as good a time as any to tell you that this isn't in the UK, and that if you're worried about working on electricals... Let's just put a multimeter across this to check that I'm not a fool. Getting zero volts there. So my solar generator outside should have cut out because there's no voltage. I didn't think of that until now. I need to trim a little bit more off these cables here to get that. It might just be enough to take that colour off the end there. That's about right. And this one. I'm just lucky that there's a bit of space here to do it. I didn't think to do, but I should turn off that main switch there and that will stop any power coming back if there is from the solar panels. Because they're feeding into the unit that's out in the shed which is a unit on the back of that one. So how far in does this go? It goes all that way, you know, it could take it, stand to take a bit more off these, really. I think I will. the 
point of doing this is to see if I'm feeding into the grid just to see how much it is. I know I am because when this light here stays on constantly, when that light stays on constantly, it's uh, an indication that you're feeding into the grid. Like if there's a reverse flow. flow I'd like to know how much it is because that's the amount of electricity that I'm generating and wasting blue on blue now and brown okay okay and then on this side now the meter has gone red which suggests that it thinks there's a reverse energy or else there's no load and it's going to go to sleep. That's the live side going in there, and this is live here. That's a bit too long, then, in that case. And this is like where which one? This screw. Mm, that's clamping on there. Okay. So, how much do you want to take off? We'll take it off another quarter inch, maybe. go what I think I'm gonna to need to do is maybe not release the meter and that way I can slide these on So how do I want it? A bit of a bend in it to reach. lock off on that switch which would be kind of a nice thing to have but well it's nice to have it's nice to have we don't have it okay Now, there we go. Let 
let's just have a quick look at this. So the load on the main should be the other way around. Load on the right, main on the left, so incoming on the left. But we have it the other way around because that's how we want to run the meter. And then a screwdriver to torque these up. Not pretty good. So if I want to reverse it, I can just pull these cables out and put them back in here at the end, or whenever. Put this cover back on. And a cover on here. Am I sure that's right? Power comes from this meter. To this switch goes into this meter the wrong way around comes out of this meter goes to this box which distributes it to my consumer units okay let's get a cover on here got reverse flow straight away but it should come up with a number soon enough 18696.3 and turn on the house there's my lights back on this should start to flash the other way yep looks like it I don't like the way they hang there, but that's the way the electric company left them. See, as you saw here, the screw's in behind the cover, and the cover's sealed by the electric company. So there isn't much you can do about it. So this meter should just stay as it is, unless it goes up when there's electricity being fed into the grid. This meter should go up from now on really because it's night time but we're drawing very little electricity at the moment i wouldn't recommend doing this unless you have one of these switches because a switch like this lets you isolate it uh, it's risky because you know i could have nudged that switch by accident and enlivened all of that electricity but uh or all of these this side of it but uh but i didn't you tell me what you think questions or comments leave them below Thanks for watching. See you later.